Y'all been providing false advertisers for this mini stepper. And after 20 days of doing it myself, I'm sick of it. So let's get into it. So y'all know the clock app is gonna provide what you like to post about. So I've been getting bombarded with ads for this mini stepper. And let me break down the difference between the ad and the sponsorship. And the ad is gonna have the word ad at the bottom and then the item that they are trying to sell is gonna go into a big old square. A sponsor video is when an influencer just tags an item that they're using that's also in the TikTok shop to their video. A better way to break this down is when before TikTok shop, people were like, ooh, Amazon fine. And everyone would be in the comments like, can you drop your Amazon link? It's just like that. Now some of these ads are just ridiculous. The ones that say, oh, it gave me a BBL, I don't believe those. If the genetics are not there, this machine is not gonna give you no BBL. It can definitely assist with toning and helping you lose weight, but a BBL is a stretch. Now, if your mama built like a brick house and you start doing this, you might just get the BBL look. But I highly encourage you to take away the idea of a BBL and just think about it as a good workout that you can get from home that's really fast and fun. But I will also say fun is subjective. <laughs> Cause this machine is nothing to be played with. I also been seeing on advertising that people are doing this real fast. Almost like the video was sped up. Let me tell y'all, slow is the way to go. Your muscles are targeted more accurately and going slow can actually help you figure out how to use the machine so that you're targeting those glutes and not messing up your knees. Y'all be trying to race on this machine in the advertisement. Another thing I noticed is that y'all be doing all these arm movements with these bands, making it look so easy. I'm here to tell you it's not. Be prepared to stop quite often when you get on this step. Working out is not pretty. Yes, you can be bomb. Fine, or that. If you're getting an intense workout, nothing about that is gonna be cute. <laughs> Drop them expectations down on how far you finna be in the house. Another thing I be seeing, people be in the comments like, yeah, you can use this for work. No. No, you cannot. <laughs> Unless you a gladiator, I would not recommend using this mini stepper while you're working. Now, maybe if the resistance is super low, maybe. But me personally, I sweat every time. Imagine being on Zoom with sweat dripping down your forehead. Imagine being at the office with sweat dripping down your blouse. Not everybody in Slack calling you sweaty girl. I'm just saying. One thing that's not a myth that I just discovered today is that that booty will sit up. The picture of me on the left is December, and the picture of me on the right is today. Give it big booty Judy, ain't it? <laughs> Now, 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 before y'all get your hopes up. Not only have I been doing this mini stepper for 20 days, I also do my at-home workouts for 30 minutes that I post on here and my weighted fitness hula hoop for 15 minutes a day. So in total, I'm working out for an hour a day. Now keep in mind, I used to do my weighted hula hoop and my workouts at home for 45 minutes total prior to adding in this mini stepper for 15 minutes a day. So this is what is pushing that booty up. However, the past two weeks, I've been intentional about eating protein. So I've been meal prepping, eating overnight oats and making high vegan protein meals. So these gains in this tushy is a result of multiple things. But the mini stepper is definitely assisting with getting those glutes together almost every day. If you eyeing this mini stepper, I just want to share that with y'all because listen, fitness is a journey. It's not linear and it's not going to be easy. But if you're consistent, you'll get results. Burning 153 calories in 15 minutes and of course your girl was sweating. See, I told you.